it's important to keep motivated and to keep moving. And that's where something known as restorative therapy can help. Delmarva Life, Sean Stryker stopped by Hermitage on the Eastern Shore to find out how this combination of therapies is keeping their residents in motion. Sean? The ability to get up out of bed and move around on your own can really help a senior citizen feel more independent, but in order to remain mobile, sometimes that person has to go through physical therapy. And I'm here with a physical therapist now, Danielle Mosier. Uh, you're with uh, the Hermitage on the Eastern Shore. Yes. Danielle, thanks for joining me. So what are you guys doing here? What are you doing for your patients? Um, the most important thing that we accomplish in physical therapy here at the Hermitage is that we try to keep patients as independently mobile as possible for as long as possible within their lifespan. So uh, what's, what happened to these people? Did they get injured or, or did they have an accident? Occasionally there's an accident or injury, but most of the time it's simple. Um, the process of living, we hit a bump. Uh, you might have a cold and end up in bed for a couple of days or go to the hospital for um, an episode of pneumonia, get on antibiotics, but that period of illness can really um, take a toll on the independence of an older person. So it's not like, you know, an athlete where they sprain their ankle, you're trying to get them back into the game. This is just, you're trying to get them back to the normal movements and function of everyday Correct. life. Correct. The thing that we focus on is the prior functional independent level. And so we try, we use their previous level of independence as our goal to get back to. So what kind of exercises are you running them through? What kind of uh, activities? For someone who's very limited in their endurance and strength, we'll start with very low level activities just to get them moving and make sure I don't make them too sore at the beginning. But our ultimate goal is to get them back on their feet and restore their independence, their walking, um, their balance. Even if they can't walk the full distances in the building, we'll create a balance between walking and wheelchair mobility, anything that allows them to get around on their own. Uh, so I see some of your uh, tools here. Uh, yes. You have these parallel bars. Explain to me what you do over here. In the parallel bars, I work on high level balance skills. It creates a safe environment. I can have someone hold on with two hands until they uh, feel comfortable with an activity. Um, once they're more comfortable, I have them reduced to one hand of support. And then without holding on, they can practice balance activities, but still know that if they have a, a mess up, if, if something happens, they can grab on and still feel safe and not fall. What about the cardio machines behind you? Those we use for general range of motion and uh, strength and endurance. We use them as a warm up activity or even as a cool down. And when we transition people to a program that they're independent with after they're done with physical therapy, those are a key component of maintaining their cardiovascular and pulmonary health. After you get your patient back that normal functionality, then what do you do? Well, the next step then is restorative uh, therapy. We have a nurse's aide who's trained in restorative therapy and what he does, his name is Fred Parker and he does an excellent job with keeping the patients at their maximum level of function. So at the end of their therapy program, I take uh, maybe an hour or an hour and a half program and whittle it down to the top two or three most important activities to maintain that person's independence. And Fred takes over from there. He works with those patients on a regular basis and maximizes their strength and their mobility and notifies me if he notices any difficulties that they might be having. So why is that restorative therapy important? Without that program, what we find is that older adults, especially in an environment like this, don't know the level of activity that they really need in order to maintain independence. It's difficult to balance um, their daily activities with the extra needs that they have in order to continue their independence. So it sounds almost as if it's a very specifically designed exercise program. It is. It, it's designed for that individual, for um, what their strengths and weaknesses are to help maintain their independence as long as possible. Oh, Danielle, thank you so much. Jimmy and Lisa, a lot of good things going on here at the Hermitage on the Eastern Shore to make sure our senior citizens remain independent. Back to you guys.